All right, this is my prototype I've been working on. A um, little while back, I made a jar infuser is what I call it. Uh, but we figured any liquid that was in the top pot would go down and shock the jar. If you didn't heat the, if you didn't heat this jar up first, and you open this valve, it would shock the jar and it would bust. So, in order to to change that, I came up with a way. And uh, me and a friend of mine, my buddy Mike, he had a good idea to use this as a heat sink. So, this copper pipe will go all the way up, connect here, go up through the liquid, and heat the liquid up. Hopefully, um, that works. We can heat the liquid up. I, I'm probably not going to sell these because someone might forget to wait until this is warm enough and then pop their jar. But at least I'll know it works. And then other people will know that if they have enough common sense to wait for it to heat up, then it will work for them too. But let's see if it works. I originally designed this for the Vever 3 pot, or I was playing with it when I had that. I gave that thing away, my little my little stove top still. Let's fill this full of liquid. We'll have to turn this up, screw it onto there, and hook everything up. So this is what I got. <laughs> Kinda had to put everything up on stilts. Um, this is just, just to see if it works. This is a rough mock-up of a prototype. I could have done this a separate way. I probably should have made it to where the pipes come out to the sides instead of going down to the top. But I just utilized this, which I already had a while back when I was playing with this. I got it ran to this little two gallon worm. Uh, got it run to my sink. But I got I got heat on, so let's see what happens. See if this heat sink, see if this heat sink can heat this liquid so it don't shock the bottom jar, and see how long it takes after running too. All right, so it's getting pretty warm. Uh, one thing that I have yet to do or come up with is a gasket for this little tiny pint jar. I got gaskets for the big ones, but I don't have one for this. I never created one. I just put it really tight, so it's kind of leaking. <laughs> That's not good, uh, especially if uh, this jar on the bottom's hot and this one is cold still. But what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm uh, I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna give it a minute. I'm gonna keep this rag here to protect it. But if this don't warm up pretty quick, then this is a failure. But let's see. The next 10 minutes will tell. I mean, it does leak, but that's just a gasket problem. So, oh, we're getting liquid now, so. Put a little bowl down there. All right, I got her fixed up. Mm. Got her fixed up again. So, come on and work. Get hot. So this pipe's starting to warm up a little bit. But how long will it take that to heat that liquid? That's the main question. Is this possible without heating your liquid right before, you know? Like if you heat this up in the microwave, and get it really hot, and then put it on there, it works. I, I know that because I've done it before. Uh, but I don't want, you know, somebody to do this and hurt themselves or crack a jar. So I'm probably never going to put this for sale, but uh, I, I definitely, you know, it, it puts the idea out there. You know, you put an idea out there, it'll be a hundred other moonshiners that take it and run with it. Do what thou wilt. But uh, how cool is that little bucket? Look at that. Bucket worms, billbillymoonshine.com. <laughs>
Let's see what's up. I'll come back to you once, you know, in 10 minutes. All right, so about two quarts in, she's finally starting to warm up. She ain't hot, she's just warm. Um, so this wouldn't be practical without preheating that liquid before you put that jar on there. Uh, it wouldn't be practical on a small system, like a three gallon, because I've done ran two quarts out of this and this is just now getting warm. I think that like all the tape that I have to use, I think if it was insulated, it would probably help it also. But I think that all the, all this tape that I have to use probably affects it also. Uh, but it would be practical, I think, if, you know, if it heats up the rest of the way in the next few minutes, it would be practical on like a keg still or anything bigger. Something that takes hours to run, heck yeah. There's no reason why you couldn't incorporate this into a big system. Uh, uh, if you preheated it, of course, you could do it on any system. But I got this rag here because I don't have a gasket. Like I said, it keeps kind of dripping out. Need a gasket for a pint jar. I'll, I'll find some uh, or make one. I'll come back to you once she's hot enough to dump. All right, so it is warm in this top jar, but it's not hot. I can still put my hand on it. I'm tired of waiting. Hopefully I don't pop this. Um, if I do, worst case scenario, there's gonna be hot liquid everywhere. Probably should wait a little longer, but here it goes. There went some. So she's working, um, takes a little longer to heat up. If you was to preheat your liquid, you know, or heat your liquid up in a microwave and then put that jar on there, it would work on any size still. I'm gonna call this a win. It actually heats up, but it takes up to the, you know, to the third quart. So like, if you're running liquor, you're only gonna get 30 quarts. You'd be done by the time you could use that, by the time it heats up. But that liquid started out cold. So if you heated your liquid up before you run, it'd probably be that much quicker. I don't know. You guys figure it out. Play with it if you're a professional. If not, you know, don't don't burn yourself. And don't don't uh, bust a jar putting cold liquid into it. I'm just saying. Somebody's going to figure it out. I call this a win, but only for big stills. You could not put this on a three-gallon still. It just wouldn't be feasible. You could put this on anything 15 gallons or above. Like this would probably work on a keg still, but it wouldn't work till the end of the run. Uh, 20 gallons and above, this would work great. But like I said, you preheat your jar, no problems whatsoever. That's it. Uh, I'll show you some more of me dumping some more liquid in there. It's working, man. It's not popping. I call it a win. Let's see if, uh, here we go. Got flux all over my damn fingers. Some blue raspberry flavored water. Show me. Blue raspberry, it's coming through. Blue raspberry Kool-Aid. That's it, boys. I call that a success. Um, I don't like it on a small, I'm gonna do it on a big one next. So, you know, that's a future project. I'm shutting her down. Here, let's dump the rest. everything man she worked son heated up on her own I did not preheat that liquid whatsoever
It's all that heat sink going from there to there. But you need to figure out something that's more efficient to heat it up quicker. Uh, I think I think all all one pipe. We'll find a way around this brass fitting. You know what I mean? I think that would work. That's it. See y'all later.